Welcome back to Kemp Fitness Professional. This is another hybrid tutorial circuit and I am doing back squats with pull-ups and leg lifts. So this is, I believe, my second set through and I'm going with six, six, and nine for my rep ranges. Yeah, six reps here and then six pull-ups. I'm trying to keep that kind of hollow body shape through the core, I'm trying to resist extension in the spine, and keeping everything braced in my pull-up position. That definitely makes it harder, but also more effective. And this combination, squat, pull-up, is a brutal combination. I highly recommend it if you're working on any form of conditioning because it's about as intense as it gets. I've had athletes puke doing that combination before. So um, along with the core exercise, this is a plated leg lift. Now just pretext to this, this was the day the gym shut down from COVID-19. So I came in and just put an impromptu workout together based on the 40 minutes that I had and so I did two hybrid circuits. This was circuit A. I did two times through three exercises, the squat, the pull up and the leg lift. And I rested, added a rep to each exercise, repeated that same circuit again, doing another three sets of each exercise. So that was my first round and this is the second of that video so I'm doing that added rep and then from this I just grabbed a kettlebell and did uh, some hip thrusts and overhead presses and Turkish half get-ups. That video is also on the channel if you want to watch that, but that was the pairing with this workout. And I just came in and said, okay, I need to do a knee dominant, a hip dominant. I need to do a vertical push, a vertical pull, and I need to do a little bit of some up and down and left and right work for the core, essentially some anti-extension movements and some anti-rotation or rotation movements. So that was my thought process as I put this together and running through each hybrid circuit for two rounds takes about 15 to 20 minutes to complete. I think this circuit took me about six minutes, six and a half. So if you take a three, four, five minute rest break in between two seven minute circuits, you're looking at somewhere around that 20 minute mark. So two different hybrid circuits would put you right around 40, 45 minutes, which is the intention of these workouts is to get you in, get the work done that you need to get done, do it as efficiently as possible, get your biggest return on investment, and then get out of there. So that's the idea with these workouts as you go through them. Uh, any key notes here is really just on noticing that I went lightweight with everything and just went through the motions. I had a very short amount of time and it was just an impromptu grab some stuff, work out really quick, not sure if the gym's gonna close or not. So I just picked three exercises. And doesn't matter what those exercises are in retrospect, as long as you're considering that throughout your week, you're creating some form of balance between your motor patterns, your pushes, your pulls, your squats and your hinges. There's a roughly equal amount of all of them throughout the week. So that way you're maintaining adequate uh, competence in all of your major movement patterns and skills and then you're also maintaining balance so you're not overdeveloping or underdeveloping any one area. Okay, we're going through round number three here, set number three. I'm emphasizing on my squat as always, the first cue butt back, second cue knees out, third cue chest up. So I initiate the movement by hinging back my hips and then I allow my knees to follow, opening out slightly to create a good strong base in the bottom. And I keep my chest up by pulling my elbows together. That's gonna help keep you coiled into the bar, give you more upper back stiffness and support and better posture through that torso. And then on the pull-ups, it's a lot of the same kind of concepts of core bracing, keeping the trunk stiff from the shoulders to the hips. We're maintaining that relative compressive cylinder. And 
as you fatigue, especially on the pull-ups, you have multiple options. You can use bands. You can use a little hop from the bottom. I think here on the last couple reps, you'll see me using my calves to kind of give myself a little jump rope hop up to them. I'm gassed, you can tell. I'm taking forever to get to these pull-ups. Okay. Feet together, toes in front of the nose. Yeah, you'll, you'll see I'm getting out of that little bit of a push off with the calves. So all I'm trying to do is regress to progress. I go to a position that I have more control in and then effectively carry out the movement with better technique than I would be able to if I tried to go more down the rabbit hole of progression. If I tried to make the exercise harder, I would actually suffer more with mechanical breakdown and shittier form. I would compensate and that would take me away from the original intention of the exercise and put me at more risk for injury. So that's why we're always trying to play it smart. We're playing the long game here. So as long as we're working all the patterns evenly and we're consistently sticking to it no matter what, then we're going to get the results that we're looking for. So just keep that in mind when you're programming. Be smart about the exercises that you select by keeping balance in the system. But consistency is king. You have to just do this stuff. 45 minutes, four times a week, you're looking at 2.5% of your week. So just dedicate that little bit of time to strength training, to making yourself better. It will pay off absolutely guaranteed. So this is the second round through of Circuit A. Go check out the single leg hip thrust, single arm overhead press, and half get up video for the other half.